Hello everyone, it's Shah again. I know two lives in one day, right? How exciting. Um, I've just been able to pin down Brie Seely. Brie is in our book, uh, the, that impact book, uh, launching in New York in 2024. And uh, Brie, I'd love you to share a little bit about yourself, where you are in the world uh, and what you're doing because you are creating some exceptional impact. So please tell us all about you. Thank you. Well, while I used to live in New York City, um, I relocated to Tulsa, Oklahoma during the pandemic. I have been a business designer for the last eight years and an entrepreneur for 16. I truly, truly, truly believe, um, and my passion is in helping women create economic equity through entrepreneurship. So I, um, I was raised by a very strong mother and a very strong grandmother and have learned about my very strong great grandmother and really looked at the struggles and challenges they faced in creating wealth for themselves. Obviously in you know, the 80s when I was born for my mother and the you know, 60s, 70s when my grandmother was in the workforce and in the 20s when my great grandmother was in the workforce, they had such limited opportunities they basically had to say yes to whatever was given to them. And they were expected to essentially take crumbs, right, for their work. And I, you know, looking at the wage gap and where it is and, and when that's going to close, which may or may not be in our lifetimes, I just was unwilling to play that game. Like, I'm, I have no interest in fighting to get equal pay. None whatsoever. I also don't want to break any glass. Not really my vibe. And so... I was like, I'm going to get out and start doing my own thing. And through my entrepreneurial journey, I just found the power of women creating wealth through entrepreneurship. And that has become my rally cry. It's what I do all day, every day is empower women to create more wealth in their life through business. And, you know, most businesses are impact focused that I work with, which is great as well, because then it's not just my impact, it's the impact that I'm then spreading to all of my clients who are then all spreading it to all of their clients. Um, and my goal is to create economic equity for women before my life is over. Yeah, <laughs> I love that. And I think that's what I enjoyed most when we first spoke. Uh, and we've only been recently connected. And uh, I loved when you shared about that and the, the important work you're doing and also with the, the big events that you're going to be running in the future and bringing women together. And I wanted to touch on, Brie, like, why do you feel it's so important? Like, you're part of that impact book. You're going to, you're one of the 100 only out of everyone on the planet that's going to be in this book um, with global reach. Why do you think it's so important that we all document our journey and our vision and our thought leadership? Why do you think that's so important that we do that, Brie? So I live in a place, living in Oklahoma has really opened my eyes to a lot of things. And there are a lot of things that I've learned in my journey of, you know, I grew up in Minnesota, studied in Italy, lived in Seattle, lived in LA, lived in New York, like I've lived all over, right? So I've gathered all of this knowledge and wisdom. And what I found in coming here is that if you don't see other people doing it, it's almost like you don't even know that it's an option for you. Um, I've been very transparent about my entire journey. And I remember when I came out publicly and said that I was permanently child-free, I made that decision for myself. One of my sorority sisters reached out and said, I didn't even know that not having children was an option that was available to me. And so I think we all need to be sharing our stories to show other women, both older, same age, younger, the opportunities that are available to them as well. And when we show up, and say, you can do this too, it gives other people permission to go chase their dreams. Mm -hmm. um, especially, like I said, living in a place right now where the, the mindset is you just get a job and you take whatever job is, is available to you and you don't really want for more. And I want women to want for more. Yeah. Oh, gosh, I love that. So profound. And it's so important, as you say, that we lead the way. We can't be leaders in, in our businesses unless we're leading the way and that we are constantly leveling up. And, you know, some people, when I talk to them about being in that impact book, they think that everyone else we have in the book is above and beyond and they're more established and they're this. And, and so what are your thoughts? If someone's thinking about being part of it, why do you think that we need all different levels, shapes and sizes to make this book work? What's your thoughts on that? 
I also have known from working with, you know, hundreds of thousands of women around the world that not every woman wants a multi seven figure business or an eight figure business, right? Like not every woman wants to be a New York Times bestseller or have a team of hundreds of people, right? Like some people want to make an impact in their family and some people want to make an impact in their community. And I think that no matter what level impact we're making and or what area of life we're making it in or how we're making that impact or how many people we're impacting, all of our impact is necessary and crucial at this moment in history. And so I think that having all walks of life and all impacts is so important because it's going to show, you know, this woman in, I don't know, Alaska, that she can just take the first step towards her impact, that maybe she doesn't want to be a seven-figure business owner, and that's okay. There's going to be other women in the book that are going to resonate with her. Mm -hmm. And even though we may not want same, the same things, right, there might be parts of my journey that she still resonates with. It's really important just to have representation. Yeah, totally agree. And it's interesting you say that because so many people uh, put out there on social media and emails that, you know, create this seven figure business, do 10K a day, do this, do that. And, and whilst they're great goals, if that is something that's important to you, then go for it. But as you say, not everyone wants that. Not everyone wants to have this big global company they're running. They don't always want to be the shiniest, you know, kid on the block. They're quite happy silently uh working in the background, creating impact and legacy. And that's where it's interesting because a lot of people we attract, they're going from success to significance. You know, whatever level of success they've reached, dollar-wise, family-wise, goals-wise, it doesn't matter how they define success. But what they're moving to is how do I make a difference? What's the legacy piece? So just quickly touch on the legacy piece for you. What is the legacy you're wanting to portray through that impact book with us in New York? I mean, honestly, I... I personally would like to be raising the next generation of female billionaires. Like that's really what I want to be doing because I believe that when women have access to equal economic opportunities, the entire world is going to change. When we have more women in leadership, more women making the financial decisions, more women as employers, I think our entire world is going to change. Our workforce is going to change. Our politics are going to change. Our, our financial systems are going to change. And so I just, again, whether or not seven or eight figures is your thing, I just, whatever that next level wealth is for you and the next level wealth after that, like, I just want to encourage so many women to make money, but not for the sake of making money. That's old world energy. New world energy is making money for the sake of impact and being able to actually be in the rooms where decisions are being made to make the changes our world needs to be more progressive. Free, I love that. And it's just that everything you've said is an absolute testament to why we accepted you in the book, because that is exactly who and what we're looking for. So thank you for being you and being amazing. I know you're going to create amazing impact. So many people will read you in the book and be profoundly moved. I know it. I can feel it. So Brie, thank you for catching up with us today. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you.